Peter Pinter is an ordinary man who has, until now, lived a fully uneventful life. He's not a rich man, but he is by no means poor. He's neither bold nor cowardly, sociable nor introverted. He likes people, and people like him. Morning. Hey, how you doing? Good. Looking for a... Uh... Okay, I got a really nice bouquet right here. Oh, really those fresh. Nice. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. How much? That's eight dollars. You see how there's a little mark on one of those flowers, the red one there? That's a defect. Surely you can knock a bit off the price of that, right? I don't see a mark. They're very fresh. And a little defective. Uh, five? Five. Very reasonable. It's more than half. Can't take five. No? Well, never mind then. Uh, all right, five, five. In truth, Peter Pinter's only distinguishing characteristic may be his inability to pass up a bargain. But which of us, if we're truly honest, is entirely innocent of that? Oh, hi, Peter. How are you? Oh, good morning, hi. Jenny May. Hi. Oh, look at the flowers. Those are very nice. I'm assuming they're for the lucky girl. Uh -huh. Very sweet. <laughs> Uh, congrats again, Peter, on the engagement. That is very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is Gwendolyn in yet? Uh, yeah, she came in about a half hour ago, right uh, after Archie. She came in with Archie? Right behind him. OK. Thanks. Um, Peter, um, a couple of those flowers have some brown spots on them. You might want to just, you know, pinch them off. I mean, we girls notice that kind of thing. It's. <laughs> Whatever. They're beautiful. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. She came in with Archie? Right behind him. With Archie? We girls notice that kind of thing. Assassins? No, not assassins. They wouldn't be that overt, that's ridiculous. Assassins. Killers. No, 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 no. Think outside the box, Peter. Hitmen, uh, whack, whackers, uh, no, definitely not. Uh, how do you get rid of a pest around here? Uh, pest, 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 pest control. That's gotta be it. 
Read between the lines. It's always between. Ah. Catch Herr Burke and Catch, the old firm. Complete discreet disposal of irksome and unwanted mammals, etc. 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 Mammals, right? Doesn't limit it. Doesn't say, but not people. No address. Good. Trying to be discreet. I like that. That's very good. I mean, what I mean to say is, uh, what size mammals do you dispose of, uh, go up to? Well, that would depend entirely on what size the client requires. <laughs> Big. I, I mean, uh, I mean, if I were to hazard a guess, uh, I would say, you know, about the size of a, you know, a person, you know, like people, a, a people, a, a, per, the, a, a person sized person. I mean, is that normally the size of mammal that you take care of? Of course, sir. Do you have a pen and paper handy? Yep, 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 right here. Good. Be at the Dirty Donkey Pub downtown tonight at 6 p.m. sharp. Be sure and carry a rolled up copy of the most recent Hollywood revealer with you. One of our operatives will find you there. Okay, I, I, hello. Yep, yep. Draft, light. It's for you. Keep that. Gee, thanks. Kimball of Catch Hair Burke and Catch. I hear you have a job for us. You don't look like a killer. Oh, no, goodness, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not part of the workforce. I'm in sales. Oh. Well, are you sure it's safe? I mean, can we talk freely here? Sure, no one's interested. Come on. This man is trying to arrange a murder and I'm helping him. Does anybody care? Nobody cares. They don't care. Now, how many people would you like disposed of? What? Oh, no, no. I don't, uh, not uh, just one a person, not people. <laughs> now, uh, his name's Archie. Archibald Gibbons. He works at Clamages in the accounting department. His address is 846. Oh, sorry. We will absolutely get to that, I guarantee you. But right now, we're just talking over the financials. Oh. Now, this contract will cost you $1,000. A thousand? Oh, okay, okay. I mean, th th that sounds reasonable. I, I can... Unless you'd like to take advantage of our special offer. Special offer? Two for the price of one. 500 apiece? Yeah, but I don't really have anyone else I want killed. Well, that's a pity. <laughs> that really is a pity because if if it was two or more, I could I could probably get the price down even lower, say four fifty a piece. Really? How? Well, truth be told, gives our team something to do. <laughs> Not enough work of this nature to really keep them busy anymore. And now with the economy. Eh, <laughs> Not like the old days. No. 
Are you sure you can't think of anyone? Can I think about it tonight and meet you back here again tomorrow night? Does the same time work for you? How was your Sunday afternoon so far? I've got it. I'm taking you up on your special offer. Oh, that's a very smart decision. Yeah, so, now, uh, the deal is four fifty each, right? No. Oh, no, I'm... Did I say four fifty? Yes. I'm so sorry, Mr. Pinter. I don't know what I was thinking. That's the bulk rate. Bulk rate? Well, I don't think it's anything you'd be interested in, no matter how good a deal it is. What? No, no. Tell me. Well, we could do it for 450 total, and we'd waive all the processing fees, but that's a big job. Ten people. Shut your damn dog up! Abbott Creek High School. What was his name? Made my life a living hell. Oh, and that creepy kid, uh, uh, Jonas Hall, pantsed me in eighth grade, stuck me in a locker. Who's that obnoxious guy on TV? And Sharon Harper stood there laughing. Laugh now, Sherry, huh? <laughs> Got a pretty busy day. Good morning, sweetheart. For you. Morning, Arch. Um, I got in early this morning, and I noticed you had some filing to do in your inbox, so I took care of that for you. You got enough on your plate. Thanks. Sure. Just trying to help. Least I could do. No, I'm sorry. It seems we're having a bit of a problem here. What? Well, this isn't 10. You see, you have the woman next door and her dog, which makes it 11, and, and that raises the price significantly. You see, the, the terms of the bulk rate are very specific. Is there any way you could lose the dog? No. No, no, that dog is worse than the woman. Well, then, we have a bit of a problem. Uh, unless... What? Un un unless what? I don't usually offer this, but you've been very straight up with me from the get-go. So I was gonna say, unless you wanted to take advantage of our wholesale rate. Wholesale's good. Wholesale's very good. Tell me about that. Mr. Pinter, we can get them for you wholesale. $20 a piece if you did 50 or more. Uh, $15 if you did, say, 200 or more. And, Mr. Pinter, if, if this list had a thousand names on it, yeah, God, I'll bet you I could get them done for ten dollars each. <laughs> yeah. And I suppose if I made it uh, five thousand, you'd get it down to five each, right? No, if you could get that list to five thousand, I could do them for a dollar. Each? 
Well, <laughs> honestly, there's, there's not a big profit in it. Uh, but, you know, the turnover as well as the word of mouth for our business would certainly justify it. Same time tomorrow, Mr. Pinter? This is incredible. If my math is right, I only need 15,720,011 gone before I can be president. <laughs> How many for king? <laughs> of England? <laughs> of the world? <laughs> yeah. I have to add a lot of people for that, huh? I get a great rate then. They probably pay me. Catch hair, Burke and Catch. How can I help you? Uh oh. Oh, well, uh, I was just gonna leave a message for Bert and Kimball to call me back later today. Hi, Mr. Kimball. You know, I'm sorry. I know it's very late. I'm sorry for the late call. I lost track of the time. Uh, it's Peter Pinter. Yes, Mr. Pinter. Um, again, sorry for the late call. Yes, Mr. Pinter? Uh, well, I was wondering how much to get rid of everybody. Everyone in the world. Everyone? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd have to offer an even bigger discount for that, right? I I'd like that. Nothing at all, Mr. Pinter. You mean you wouldn't do it? No, <laughs> of course we'd do it. I mean, we'd do it for nothing. We only had to be asked, Mr. Pinter. We always have to be asked. So, when do you start something like that? Start right away. Mr. Pinter, we've been ready for a very long time, but we only had to be asked. Good night, Mr. Pinter. You are our best customer, and it has been a pleasure doing business with you. Maybe I didn't need to do this. Maybe I, maybe I just overreacted. This was a bad idea. <laughs>